So this video is going to cover uh, secondary menus and how to sync those up with your primary menus. And then we're going to play around with uh, where those are placed in our, in our theme um, so that they aren't always necessarily right next to each other if we don't want them to be. So um, I have a basic uh, Drupal site um, already set up here and I have uh, some primary menus already set up couple items you can click around you can see so I've got some pages set up um, let's go in and actually look at the menus um, and this is my primary links so you'll see that um, that both flowers uh, has items under it and trees also has items underneath it um, and so those are all in my primary links um, I don't have anything in my secondary links um, and uh, what we're going to do is we want to get uh, those sub items to display uh, for my primary links so that when I click on flowers the list of kinds of flowers so the thing we want is this source of primary links is primary which makes sense um, the important bit here is this uh, source for secondary links um, it's by default set to the secondary links menu and uh, which would make sense and you can have different uh, primary links and the secondary links could be like contact us and about us or whatever you know if you wanted to set it up separately but what we want to do is switch this to be to both be primary links and it tells you in the help text here if you do this the children of the active primary link will be displayed as secondary links so it's going to take the children for the secondary um, we could set this so that they're both set to secondary and again the parents would be primary and and then the children would be secondary but we're gonna set these both to primary links and save that configuration now when I go up to my menu so I go to home everything looks normal when I click on flowers I actually get the categories now those are the child menu items and those are my secondary links so now that I actually have the primary and secondary links working together so that they're actually related to each other, um, what I want to do is, uh, is move these around in my theme. Um, and so I'm going to use a contributed theme because uh, I don't want to hack a core theme. Um, and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and switch to the, the Barlow theme here, which is a nice example uh, theme to use. Um, and uh, just keep in mind that not all themes are going to actually even have secondary links in them. So it took me a while to, to find one that, that was going to work well for this demo. Um, so again, uh, so now I'm in the new theme. Uh, home page is fine. Um, and then when I go here, my secondary links are now appearing uh, underneath uh, the primary link items, as they should. Um, I go to one of those children see the whole menu is all lined up so let's move stuff around so I'm gonna go into my text editor here and uh, I'm not hacking a core theme I am going to go into my sites all themes directory where I have my contributed and here's uh, the Barlow theme and I'll come down here and uh, our menus are printed out in the page template so that's what I'm going to uh, do now if I go if you come in and look at the file if you've never really looked at a, at a theme file before it's basically a bunch of HTML with uh, PHP snippets um, and, and you can sort of see they're they're pretty appropriately named for what it is that they do and uh, you'll see that we have primary links and secondary links uh, and this is what is actually displaying that information in our theme uh, when we go to a page so what we want to do is play around with uh, the secondary links. We can move it around in the HTML in our template file. Now you'll notice that we have uh, a, it begins with this if statement. It says PHP if, and uh, what it's doing is it's basically saying if I actually have secondary links, then go ahead and print them. Um, if I don't, then don't bother putting anything into the theme. So it begins with the if, and it has this little brace bracket at the end um, and then down if you go down a couple lines you'll see an end bracket and we need this entire statement in uh, a lot of times you'll just see it with an if with a colon and then this end if which actually makes it a little easier to sort of see where the beginning and end of these of these entire little chunks are but um, but in this one we have brackets 
That's fine. We just need to make sure we grab all of it. So I want the beginning to the end of the if. This is the entire secondary links statement. Um, and that's the thing that I want. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to put it above the primary links, just to sort of start playing around a little bit. So if I save that and reload my page, you'll see that now the secondary links are above the primary links. Everything's still working the same. Um, they're just placed differently. So let's look at doing some other stuff. We'll undo that. And uh, what I can do is uh, I can also have more than one location. So I'm going to leave the secondary links in its primary place up there at the top. And I'm going to add it in another location. So I'm going to have secondary links printing out twice. So I'm down in my footer. Uh, and I'm going to stick this right inside my footer div. And save that. And uh, come back over here and reload. So uh, remember, I. I changed what I had done before so that those went back to normal. And now I also have secondary links down in my footer. So I can even have, have these links in, in more than one location. You can do that with primary links as well. So let's undo that because that was kind of weird and not exactly what we want. Um, and another really common thing that people want is uh, they want their primary links to stay up at the top nice and clean. Uh, in the, the horizontal header, and then they want the uh, they want the the other stuff to actually just show in like a sidebar. So I'm in my sidebar left div here uh, of my theme. This is in the HTML. I'm just choosing where in the HTML do I want this to display, and then I'm going to go ahead and, and paste it in there. So um, this is going to be above the uh, the actual left sidebar region where my blocks go, which is indicated by this. So save that. Let's go back. Let's reload. And now you'll see the primary, the secondary links are not underneath the primary links, but they're in the sidebar. Now it's kind of weird because they're not in like a normal list. You see how they're doing this weird? They're being displayed in line by the CSS, which is in the headers how how you know you you like it, but uh, it's not really uh, it's not really working for me in the sidebar. So I'm gonna fire up Firebug here and figure out what's what CSS is causing that. So I find my uh, sidebar left, and then this is the uh, the unordered list, which is which is what my secondary links are in. And uh, nothing on the UL, but if I click on one of the list items within it, and then look at the the CSS that's being generated, you'll see there's the display in line, and that's what's making them go next to each other rather than on top of each other. And uh, if I look at it, you'll see that this is being created by the uh, system menu CSS. So this is a, a core CSS, not my themes CSS. And uh, it's being attributed to, uh, to everything that has this links class on it, uh, to one ordered list with the links class. So, uh, so what I can do is, when, I, when you look at this, this is kind of weird, but that's the theme function. That's the actual secondary links thing. And then we have this class, this array that has this class thing in it, and it has the actual classes that are being applied in the HTML that links. I'm going to get rid of it. Okay, and so now it just has that secondary menu class on it. And when I do that, voila, no longer being displayed in line. So that's handy. They still look a little funny with these weird background rollover things going on, right? So if you come down and then look at this again, you'll see <coughs> we still have the secondary menu class uh, that's happening. Um, and that is in my theme. The typography CSS uh, file for Barlow is, is, you know, adding some stuff to anything it sees as a secondary menu. Now there are two ways I can address this. I can go into the style CSS. I can find the secondary menu CSS. Um, and uh, and then you can see where it's adding things like the background color uh, on hover and stuff like that. So I can change the CSS to do whatever I want to do. Another thing I can do is just change the class um, so that it's not using secondary menu class so that if I move something back that stuff would all still be there. Which way you go doesn't matter. Um, this is really getting into sort of the HTML CSS and you deciding how you want to you work your theme. Either way works. Um, but what I'm going to do is, uh, just to just sort of show you this, I'm going to go ahead and just change this class to say side menu rather than secondary menu. 
And now when I do that, you'll notice that uh, all the theming is gone. It's just getting default stuff now um, because there's there's no CSS for side menu anywhere. Um, and when you come down and look in, in uh, Firebug here, you'll see the UL now has that class that I just added. Um, so now I can go into the theme and add my own CSS for the side menu class um, on, on the, the list and it'll do whatever it needs to do there. So let me uh, close Firebug here and so we see we have flowers, trees, it moves, it changes, right? And then when I go it dis to home it disappears. So now I have my primary and secondary menus, they're in sync with each other uh, and uh, the primary menus are across the top in the header and the secondary menus, the children of, of the primary items, are now in the sidebar uh, and they only appear and they change as I move through my primary items. So that's it. Um, that is a quick intro to secondary menus.